Once upon a time, in a poor village made of huts, our family had very little food to eat. Each morning, Alex and I would run to the cupboard looking for breakfast, but we found very little there. Our parents felt ashamed. The king of our country didn't like the look of people like us, so he decided it was time to tidy them away in a big castle. But knowing that parents love their children very much, he knew he would have to trick the children away. So when winter came, and the children were hungrier than ever, the king built a huge gingerbread castle and sent his evil servant to gather us up. Her magic conjured chocolate and sweets to lure us beyond the gingerbread walls. This is no fairy tale. It's real, and it's far from over. My name is Anna, and I was taken away from my family because I was poor and because I was Roma. And she's not actually an evil servant, but a social worker. And this is 2021. Did you know that thousands of Romani kids like me make up to 80% of those taken into care across Eastern Europe and that's where we stay? Our parents' only crime is that they were born Roma and also very poor because of centuries of discrimination. So if you care about kids, keep watching, because I'm going to need your help. Being taken into care ripped our family apart. I got out, but my brother wasn't so lucky. While I returned to my family, he never did. Alex was traumatized at being forced to stay in a state care home. As he grew up, he carried the stigma of not only being Roma, but also being an institution child who believed his parents didn't love him. In time he left, but the damage was already done. He was distrusted by all, the community he came from and the one who supposedly cared for him. For more than 10 years, the European Roma Rights Center has fought against the scandal of Romani kids in institutional care, but very little has changed. In 2021, we will be taking those countries who have done so little to change the situation to court. Our message is simple. Poverty alone is not a sufficient reason to take us into care, and the institutions where we spend too much of our childhood should be closed down for good. It is not that the social worker who took us into care was evil. Even she thought her time would have been far better spent supporting families rather than breaking them up. Roma don't steal children, but we still experience our children being stolen. We believe the best place for a child is with their parents. By helping them out of poverty, by tackling racial biases in the care system head-on, we can break the cycle of discrimination and institutionalization for good. We want all countries to commit to the closing of care institutions. Because it's far better to treat Roma and non-Roma children equally by lifting vulnerable families out of poverty than simply removing their children to institutions. The overrepresentation of Romani children in children's homes simply has to stop. Sadly, stories of stolen children don't exist just in fairy tales. It's happening here and it's happening now. But we won't let this scandal continue much longer and we will fight until this shameful practice is ended for good. To find out more about what we're doing, visit our website 